All right, so uh, last question, we had fun with these approximation schemes dealing with uh, the K and Kappa from the complex wave numbers. Um, let's go ahead and dive a little more into this and take another uh, stab at a question. Our statement here reads, A, show that the skin depth in a poor conductor, sigma is much less than omega epsilon, is 2 over sigma uh, square root epsilon over mu, independent of frequency. Find the skin depth in meters of pure water. B, show that the skin depth in a good conductor, where sigma is much greater than epsilon, uh, or omega epsilon, is lambda over 2 pi. Find the skin depth in nanometers for the typical metal, sigma is approximately 10 to the 7, in the visible range with omega equal 10 to the 15, uh, radians per second, assuming epsilon is approximately epsilon naught and mu is approximately mu naught. And C, show that in a good conductor, the magnetic field lags the electric field by 45 degrees and find the ratio of their amplitudes. For a numerical example, use the typical metal in part B. Okay. Whew, this is going to be fun. Uh, it's not too long, but the math can look a little hand wavy, so we'll go ahead and uh, see what we need to know. Here, the skin depth and wavelength, d is equal to 1 over kappa, lambda is equal to 2 pi over k, where kappa and k are listed below. Notice that they're pretty much the same outside of the negative one and positive one, respectively. So let's see how we can approximate it. So here for A, we want to use the binomial expansion for the square root. Okay, again, this only works because sigma is much less than epsilon omega. Okay, so we're able to expand that square root out to one plus one half, thanks to the fact that that fraction is much less than one. Um, with that, uh, you see the purple is color coordinating it, so it works. And we can cancel the ones out. This is again a first order approximation, so uh, don't look, you're going to have several degrees of error here. Um, okay, so push that through. We see that they cancel, and you see that the one half is there, so we just put everything in the bracket to a square root. Um, and you see here that with that, we can combine this, both the square roots. After we square the sigma, epsilon, omega, we see that the epsilons cancel. We get 2 squared, which turns to 4. <coughs> or, excuse me. We see that uh, a factor of epsilon cancels. You have 2 squared, sigma squared, omega squared. Um, so the square root only remains on the mu and epsilon, since you have squares for factors of sigma, 2, and omega. Once we pull those sigma, 2, and omega out, the omegas cancel. And we see that we're left with sigma over 2 times square root of mu over epsilon. So the skin depth is approximately is equal to 1 over kappa, which is approximated to 1 over uh, what we just found. And so we just take the reciprocals of those respectively, and we get 2 over sigma is times the square root epsilon over mu. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, again, based on the stipulation, that'll be used again. Definitely used in a lot of research papers, which I'll link down below. All right, so for pure water... We see that epsilon equal epsilon r, epsilon naught, which is equal to about 80.1 epsilon naught. The uh, conductivity is equal to 1 over 2.5 times 10 to the 5. Mu is equal to mu naught, 1 minus uh, chi m's, acceptability. And so uh, with the susceptibility of water being so low, 1 minus 10 to the negative uh, 6, or 9 times 10 to the negative 6, that's approximately omega naught plug everything in and we see that the skin depth is equal to 1.19 times 10 to the 4 meters. Uh, so that's quite a bit of distance. Um, again, in pure water. Now, in the case of a good conductor, the uh, sigma uh, over epsilon omega squared dominates, so K is approximately equal to kappa. Uh, notice here that... Uh, for good conductors here, we have the same thing, except that minus one doesn't need to cancel. Everything else, the dominate term, will just plow through like we saw in the last question. Um, so they're really not much different between the two. And what we see here is that from that, we have lambda is equal to two pi over k, uh, which is approximately two pi over kappa, which we use to find the skin depth. 
So what this is saying is that lambda is approximately two pi times skin depth. Okay, cool. So we know that D is equal to lambda over two pi. Pretty cool. Meanwhile, kappa is, e is approximately omega over uh, omega times square root epsilon mu over two times square root of sigma over uh, epsilon mu. So we get a lot of cancellations once we push in the omega, make it a square. The epsilons cancel, a factor of omegas cancel. And we're left with omega mu sigma over two. Uh, and numerically, we can plug that in and verify that D is equal to one over K, or one over kappa, which is equal to 1.3 times 10 to the negative three, uh, or 10 to the negative eight, excuse me, which is 13 nanometers. That is a dramatic difference from 1.19 times 10 to the four meters, granted different, uh, different substances because it's a good conductor. So the metal makes a huge difference in that skin depth. Holy cow. Again, good conductor, it wants to take it all in anyways. So the fields do not penetrate far into a metal, which is what accounts for their opacity. All right, so part C, since K is approximately equal to kappa, as was found in B, thank you to the domination term, we see that uh, phi is equal to tan inverse kappa over K. Um, and since they're approximately equal, they go to one, um, which is equal to a tan inverse of one is 45 degrees. Again, principal roots only. And the amplitudes are B naught over E naught. Um, take their ratio, you see there. And then you get uh, square root epsilon mu, square root one plus sigma, or yeah, sigma over uh, epsilon omega squared. Again, that approximately pushes through, so you just get square root of sigma over epsilon omega squared, so the uh, square term cancel with the square root. And you see you're left with uh, epsilon times mu, canceling with the epsilon in the denominator, leaving you with uh, sigma mu over omega as their ratio. And if we find this numerically, their ratio is 10 to the negative seven um, S per meter.